Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix Online meeting number 38 at the end of August 2014. As always, these meetings are recorded and then posted up on YouTube for all those people that weren't able to be here right now. Uh, I'm going to jump in the triage because I always, or jump in the agenda because I always forget to do that. The agenda is basically the same it's been for the last few weeks and is probably likely to be the same for the next month. Um, as we continue to discuss the same things, unless someone adds something onto the agenda. And if you didn't add it to the agenda already, we can discuss that at the end with the questions and comments. Look good? Yes, yes, sir. All right, here we go. Triage, off to the website. We have a few bugs this week. Um, which is you might want to cool. hit refresh. What's that? I might want to hit refresh and others. Oh, yeah. no, I've lost my mouse. All right. Let's do this one real quick, and then we'll go back, and I'll hit refresh. Oh, I'm going to lose my mouse. Oh, oh. Um, this one, the whole, oh, the XSD pattern's not being correct in Eclipse. He doesn't care what language is used, because our standards, which have to work in every language. All right, but, okay. So... I think we just need to say what the definition of suspend means, right? For this guy? Oh, we like, did suspend it, yeah. Yeah, so I, yeah, I remember this bug. I'm like, yeah, we suspended it, which means, yeah, not many people complaining about this, and we don't think it's a big deal. If you'd like to fix it, we'd be happy to take that. Yep, that works for me. All right. All right, I'm going to hit F5. Oh, and I kept one. All right, good. It did the right thing. Wow. Solution load takes too long. Wow, that's a new one. All right, so build error during harvesting, working from the bottom up. Build error during harvesting. I'm getting this out. After more digging, this is not a Wix issue after all, but rather a Visual Studio issue. Ah! VS uses the environment variable platform to build to. Once I change the environment variable platform, any CPU, everything built. Okay. Oh, he was using platform in his, for his own purposes. Oh. Kid. Yeah, don't do that. Um, <laughs> cool, that's nice. So that bug can go away. Or what I is? really, really want to use the don't do that resolution somewhere. I think that's a completely reasonable place to do so. Yeah. I think you have to put a yeah in front of that, though. <laughs> that's yeah. fair that's fair yeah yeah don't do that <laughs> <laughs> Wix BA mouse multiple clicks of install button while update check is running <laughs> yeah so we need to go this update thing and like disable UI and all that kind of good stuff I mean that should be easy in the MVVM stuff or something or something I don't know um, 3x oh Bob you opened this okay I did um, because uh, for for some reason um, during testing of something or another the the update check normally the update check is is fast right because it's just downloading the feed sometimes it could take a few seconds and uh, I don't know uh, I must have a little bit of a tester's soul trapped in me because uh, <laughs> I, I clicked. I clicked the button a couple times, and yeah, yeah, it it, it it runs multiple apply phases within one, you know, burn transaction. But but they're all serialized, apply. so yes, they're all serialized, and so the you know the ones at the end tend to not do anything. But <laughs> boom, boom, yeah. boom, you're like done. All right. Oh uh, yeah, we could yeah. take that. Yeah. Uh oh, Jacob says he wants it. All right, cool. I guess we're gonna have to create the three ten area soon, just so we can start putting some of these bugs in there that people want to take, huh? It's actually oh, present. Oh, it is there. Ah, cool. So, um... Alright, cool. So, Jacob, do you just want Bob to give that to you? I can take it. It's pre-existing. 310, yeah. Alright, cool. So, Triage will just send that straight to open in 310 to Jacob. Modular Darn. regex in row incorrectly identify some property names as keywords. What? I love this bug. I love this bug. If if it is the regex that's that determines uh, the operators, you know, the 
not EQV, XOR, and imp. imp. Um, if that regex is actually what selects selects it for, for the modularization, that regex is identical in 3.9 as it is in 2.0. Oh, that's awesome. This bug has been there for ancient history, and it's picking up the OR on the front of that thing? Wow. Wow. Well, well you know, the... suppressed modularization isn't you. Okay, I can see how this bug lives this long, but yeah, we should fix that. So, that's awesome. Um... Should we fix it in three nine? Would you take the fix in three nine? Only if it was trivial. I believe it's just going to be putting a space after the keywords and the the bars in the or. Oh. Or a you know a, a space marker, um, white space. Right, right. Yeah. Is that true? No, that's not true. It's going to be any non-character. It's basic non character I think no you need we want to get the the not equiv XOR or and and we want that to then go to say if there's not a white it's not a white space a it's a non character a non alphanumeric character which is one of the regex types in it. I think that's the fix. Yeah. This is a really good bug, though. It is. It is. As soon as it mentioned the regex, I'm like, I wonder, I wonder if it, if it's changed. Nope. Not as far back as I can go. Um, I'm I'm okay with this in three X for sure, um, three nine only if it's trivial. And uh, to be honest, mucking about with a regex that looks like that, I don't know if I consider that to be trivial. But on the other hand, I'm not too worried about this because, uh, you know, it's straightforward to test. So yeah, it's very easy to test. Um, yeah, okay. Um, I just feel bad that, <clears throat> well, I guess these guys just did that. Yeah, uh, all right. All right, I guess we'll put it in 3X, because that's what the vote's leaning towards. And... And we should mention that he might be better off using a Wixlib. A Wixlib would not have this problem. Yeah. Well, that was mine as well. Second paragraph, though, I think he needs a merge module. Yeah, I don't know why. Oh, it's a share with a vertical product. Okay. Um, yeah, I just feel bad. But, yeah, I guess... Right. All right. Well, that's a good one. Why don't you give that to me in 310? Because I don't want that one slipping through. I want that one I'll go after. Okay. Because that, that's interesting. I'm going to go look at that. Error. Version attribute. Not a valid version. Um, oh, look. Yeah. It's another one. <laughs> yeah. This is another red check. So it's not doing the right thing, probably. Well, no. This is um, all the the bind time uh, variables that magically exist from packages and properties and all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everything's based off of bind dot id, or sorry, bind dot thing dot id. Yeah. Um, problem is IDs can have dots, so. I yeah, know we've had problems with this in the past. But that's why we do it this way. 
Yes. But one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, the thing is that the reason I don't know if that's true is because it works if there's one fewer dot in the bind. Oh, that's package name. Oh, no, package version. Like, yeah, see, if there's one fewer... I, I think the regex is, again, I think it's another regex, but probably it's going... Five dots, you can't have that. And oh. It blows up. Like, it's going, yeah. oh, that looks like a version, but it's not a version. Oh, I think it gets confused. That's my... Anyway, that's my guess. But, yes, it should get fixed, because... Yeah. That, because we put the identifiers at the end so that they can have dots in them. Right, 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 right. So this should work. It Something's just gone awry. Fortunately, that'll be another one that should be fairly straightforward to figure out what's going wrong there. Yep. Cool. Uh, no, this was actually open in 4x. Fine. I, 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 does it not happen nice. in 3x? I, I'm fine with it being in 4x, and then if we fix it, ideally the person to fix it goes, oh, let me go see if this happens in 3, and puts yeah. their fix back there. Unless you want to put it in 3x to start. Um, let me put it in 3x, and I will go verify the behavior. All right. Solution loading time is too long when it has a Wix setup project in it. Really? This is a question. Yes. Yeah, this sounds like a great thing to go send to Wix users. Wixtoolset.org, that's an interesting place for it. But, yeah, no. So this sounds like a great thing to go send to the mailing list. Yeah, I agree. I don't happen to have a solution with 47 projects in it. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe some project references, maybe some asynchronous things, stuff like that. And Sean is asking about 4018. This is open again. This bug can be closed or in the same problem on Windows Server. Did some further. I found that I had renamed the custom action config to match the name of the custom action. The name should always be a custom action config after you yeah. work fine. Good. Yes. So, hey, look. Not a bug, or whatever the resolution is for that. How old is this? Oh, okay. Because it's saying, oh, look, it's migrated. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that can go away. Um, cool. We done here? Uh, yes, with the general comment that we're going to have to... We're going to have to figure out how to handle bugs like this. Um... The Swix XSD bug? Sorry, no. Uh, the 418. Yeah. Um, in that, you know, it's been nine months or whatever since the person wrote in to say, oh, not a bug. Short of, of uh, doing another months-long uh, triage pass, or Sean randomly noticing stuff. Um, oh, 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 oh. Um, man, that's weird. It's double jumping. My, my backs are double jumping right now. I can't see the mouse. That's not happening. Um, yeah, 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 okay. I, I hear you. 480 would be quite a few to oh. go through. That makes sense, John. I occasionally get them... E I get emails from from having scribed on triage, so sometimes I'll see when someone, you know, posts a comment, but if I don't go back and untriage them, they 
never get attention. Um, yeah, the updated time isn't bad. Um, we could look at recently updated bugs and things like that. Okay. Before yeah. triage. That's interesting. Um, yeah. So yeah, I think that query is in there already. Just have to go put okay. it together. Recently updated and in ascending order of ID number. Right. I mean, it's basically before triage, look at that and say, yeah, these are the ones that have been updated or something. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Click, you know, you could just see, oh, look, yeah, here's the, oh, that's eight, one. Where is 40? Oh, right, this is not sorted. I was like, why isn't this showing? No, because it's not the sort that I want. Anyway, um, yeah, we could we can look at that. It's a pretty good idea. All right. It's a good sign that we're getting to the point where we're trying to now optimize um, more of our triage process again, as opposed to just survive the onslaught of bugs. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we haven't had this kind of conversation in a long time, it feels like. Um, so, yeah. Cool. So, anything else on triage? I'm good. All right. So, oh, Jacob's typing something. Oh, he opened an issue on some bug. Oh, yeah, yeah, the file dialog. 4, 5, 0, 9. Oh. Ha-ha! Yes. So this has been resolved external. Okay. That's We're interesting. Soon. Thank you for the update. Too bad that we can't control that. You would think that would be something we would be able to do, but all right. Yep, I remember that. That was good. We... It almost sounds like it's a Windows bug. Oh, yeah. just, I mean. Uh, no, I don't think we want to make, oh, man, more OS workarounds. I I think we'll deal with it. Yeah, okay. On that note, moving on. Oh, yeah, we, yeah, we, but we still need to make uh, Wix standard BA XP compatible, so we'd have to cover both flows. I have very little interest in doing all that. All right, so here we are. I just keep bringing this slide back because, I don't know, because it's here. Um, 3.9, I think we're still saying Halloween just because, I mean, we got enough bugs today that were interesting enough that we sit there and go, yeah, you know, good to discuss them. I don't think we're taking any of them, although I feel bad about that regex one, but, you know, 3.10 is not that far away, right? Okay. Um, <laughs> So I think we're still doing that. Um, 3.10, I don't know that we've seen a pull request that goes in 3.10 yet. Start seeing some bugs going to 3.10, so that might start changing in soonish, right? We actually have a couple of of pull requests that will end up against 3.10. Uh, that we're not going to take them for a while. Because, they're, yeah, they're, you know, they're feature requests or whatever that are months late, so we're not going to take them in 3.9. All right. Well, uh, fair enough. But again, because of the way the branching is going to work, will not be a problem to take those into 3.10 when 3.10 starts. Right. So I should just change this to 3.10 will start whenever we do the 3.9 build kind of thing, bug fixes. And we're already starting to file bugs in the correct place. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't see. I don't see that there's a push for 3.10 builds to start. All right. um, so doing all the extra, time. basically doing all the extra work to to get the bug the three ten started now is not worth it. I don't I don't say that there's a big push. Yeah. You know, maybe with with a date of Halloween rather than Labor Day, uh, you know, we'll see more people wanting it, but mm, meh. Yeah. I don't right. I don't see this a big deal. Alright. Um Wix four
more features, well, that's open. Um, we've seen some discussion, nothing moving. I know a number of people are waiting for me to finish the 3.9 integration, um, and I will do that, I promise. I just have a deadline today, tomorrow, that I need to finish that has been taking up all my extra time. Um, and the 4.0 timeline, I, I, we still need to see where the 4.0 features go, so I guess we're going to hold off on a lot of that stuff right now still. So maybe I'm going to remove this slide until we change it to the has any of these things changed? I guess I'll put the answers in here. How about I do that? I'll put the answers in here right now. <laughs> and when they change, then we can have a discussion about it. That works. Yeah, all right. Anything else? Oh, Sean has something. And he's typing long enough that it's not no. How is the 3.9 build going to work? The build machine will build it? No. Um, <laughs> um, I'm not sure. More typing. Ah, yes. Um, what do you want to do this time, Bob? Because we've done both. Do you want to build one and declare it RTM after the fact, or do you want to build on the day and declare it um, RTM? Yeah, we have done it both ways. Because um, we're consistent like that. Yes. <laughs> um, there, I mean, the, a lot of times, you know, you, you build and test and declare that the RTM because you know, you're nervous about your build system producing something different the next time. We don't have that problem. Um, that said, the only advantage of rebuilding for RTM is that you have, you know, a particular build number, um, or that's, you have... That's easier like, to remember, you're like... Right, right. When did that sh ship on Halloween? Yeah. Oh, so it'll be, yeah. yeah. Yes, because I always have to, one of our, I think it's 3.5 that has a date where it stopped way early, or is it 3.0 that yeah. stopped way early? And I was looking at it go, we were done then? And I was like, oh, no, we sat around for like six months on that build. Right, right. Um, so, yeah. I don't know. I Personally, I'd flip a coin on this. Um Do you have a preference, Sean, since you brought it up? There you go. <laughs> no, that's a punt. Um, <laughs> I just thought nine weeks is a long time. Well, <laughs> you went around for the 3.0 days, or I think it was 3.0. Was it 2.0? Maybe it was 2.0 that sat for like six months. Yeah, 2.0 two sat for... 2.0 sat for... Six months because I think at a certain point we went, oh crap, two o. We should probably, you know. Ship no, that. we were we were really nervous back then. No, I, we, I, know, I know. We've become but, but, a lot more, uh, a little bit more, you know, laissez-faire about the whole thing. Because honestly, things are working better than they right. did back then. I mean, not better, just well, better than is we've got the things working well now. We trust our systems more. Um, I. I Whichever way, I mean, I'm fine if we take a. Well, we're, we we need to do another build. I think we're going to do another build this week end right on Monday. Go do some work on Labor Day um, because there's another couple pull requests that do need to go in three nine for bugs that we've already taken. Right, and I I think we can probably publicize that one. Woohoo! Um, RC three. RC three. Um, uh, well. That plus, I, you know, it's a perfect opportunity for me to go, oh, right, write a blog post saying that we're, you know, moving to Halloween uh, for people who don't go hey, 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 How about we do this? We can make the, the, the Labor Day build, the RTM build on, on Halloween. <laughs> we can nail two holidays. Wait, oh, that's really confusing. Um, <laughs> but, you know, if that works... <laughs> Okay, I like that. Double plus one. Like if <laughs> if we don't have to rebuild for any reason, then yes, let's do that. Okay. 
<laughs> All right. I, I think we got enough people laughing at that. that that's probably what we're going to try to do. We'll, we'll yeah. take the Labor Day build, and I still think sitting on it for a month and some is a good idea, um, yeah, just absolutely. given how much stuff has gone around it. I, I like I like the idea that we have, you know, like a month, you know, three or four weeks of of a build that people have looked at and gone, oh, yeah, everything's good, you know. The you know we had we had a lot of churn in three nine. This is actually a good thing. It is. It's one. It's you know it's bigger than three seven. It's bigger than three eight. So you know this is all good. But yeah, it means I think we have uh, uh, we have enough reason to to want to sit on it for a month. Um. So yeah, I I I have no problem with that. And and you know we still might get some bugs. Yeah, who knows? So that's the purpose of the big time, right? Yep, yep. So, uh, yeah, okay, so let's make this um, Monday's build, Labor Day build, RC3, and with a little bit of a little bit of luck, it could also be the Halloween build. Yes. Awesome. Anything else while we were having that fun little discussion about the way that we're going to run these things out? RC3 may become RTM, all that kind of good stuff. Um, anything? Anything? We're going to be done within a half hour. Oh, Sean typing again. <laughs> we already started a couple of minutes late. It's, we're, it's, we're, all, we're, it's all good. I like that. Can we do my Wix 4 pull request before I forget what I did? Yeah, like I said, let me just get through Friday, and I will I, I will get those things um, this weekend or maybe even tonight. We'll see how tonight goes. Just I, I have the same. I have Mike um, Mike GC is doing the same thing. He's like, dude, I'm gonna have a kid, and I'm gonna forget everything. I'm like, I know, I know, but I need to write this code that I'm doing right now because I have a deadline. So I'm going to have a kid. I'm gonna forget everything. You've clearly never had a kid. I've um, never had a kid because apparently <laughs> I, I like my brain intact. <laughs> uh, it, it's temporary, but that first month is pretty brutal. Um, <laughs> so, so yeah, let me let me get the Wix 39 stuff pulled over and all that kind of good stuff. I will do that. I promise. I've not forgotten. It's just been looming. Um, all right. On that note, 9:30. Basically, Rob, go do all the work that you said you're going to do, and and RC3 is eminent um, and all that kind of stuff, which may be RTM. Doo -doo -doo -doo. If it works, I, I think that'd be cool. That would be pretty cool. <laughs> Our Labor Day build was RTM'd on Halloween, and it's the first time we've hit two back-to-back -back holidays in our launch dates. All right. Listen, we, should, we should keep track of the dates of the holidays that we've shipped on. So that for future builds, we can ship on other holidays, and eventually we can cover the entire calendar. It'd be awesome. Like 310 could hit President's Day or something. There you go. Um, yeah, still my favorite was July 4th. Um, yeah. That's mostly yeah, because of the way Visual Studio screwed us. So. Yes. I mean, we got good bug fixes, but whatever. Anyway, on that note, I think we're all good. Uh, we guys will meet again next week. Do the same thing, same time, same bat channel, all that good stuff. I think that's it. it. Feels kind of weird being done in a half hour, but it feels kind of good too. It means we're kind of get the hang of this. Right. Um, yeah. Right. <laughs> that was. Yeah. Sure. Whatever. Um, says the man that does all the typing. Um, all right. I think that's that. Oh, Jacob's got something. Anyone heard from Heath lately? Not. Well, I mean, he was here a few weeks ago, but not lately. I think I talked to him not too long ago. He's still around. Yeah, those Microsoft guys in and out. Yes. No commitment. <laughs> I guess we'll find out if there's uh, if people from Microsoft watch the recordings. Yeah, they're all going to come out. You can't say bad things about us. I'm like, I didn't say bad things. <laughs> it's all good. All right. Uh, Wix Online Meeting number 38. Call it good. And we'll see you guys next time. Later. Bye.